The center of attention of Palm Beach is hundreds gather in support of the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Both Governor Rick Scott and Donald Trump lending their support to the foundation. And as expected, it didn't take long for the two to talk a little politics. News Channel 5's Jeff Spryfeck was at the charity event. He's live on Palm Beach with how things went tonight. Jeff? Yeah, a big night for breast cancer awareness as the color pink could be seen all over Palm Beach. As you can see behind me, the Royal Park Bridge is lit up in that color, as was nearly everything inside the Mar a Lago Club as hundreds gathered to raise money for the Susan G. Komen Foundation, as well as talk a little politics with the Florida primary just two weeks away. The color was inescapable on ribbons, on flowers, candles, and above all, pink was proudly worn by every single person inside the Mar-a-Lago Club in Palm Beach. Uh, an evening like tonight will leave a lot of much-needed resources in, in this community in West Palm Beach and all of South Florida to address the needs of medically underserved people. Susan G. Komen founder and sister Nancy Brinker says it's events like these that raise thousands of dollars for research, most of which will stay in the community from tonight's charity gathering. 30 years, people, this has been going on. Let's go through it, right? Brinker says three decades after fulfilling a promise to her sister to do everything in her power to end breast cancer, the fight continues. A struggle in ending a disease the governor of Florida, Rick Scott, joins in support. And it's having a positive influence on people across our state, those that can't afford their screenings. And while Governor Scott, like the hundreds of others, gathered out of support for breast cancer awareness, it didn't take too long to shift into politics, especially with the Florida primary right around the corner and some awaiting to hear who Governor Scott will endorse. Uh, they continue to focus on, you know, who's going to be do the best job of getting jobs for Floridians. I think I think the whole race, the race next uh, fall is going to be about uh, the person who has the best jobs plan. The governor wouldn't reveal whom he supports yeah, as the GOP nominee, yeah, but another high-profile man was in attendance who's usually never shy about who he likes, Donald Trump. Well, everybody wants me to give the endorsement. Even you want me to give the endorsement. Trump shied away from an endorsement, but had something to say about Republican nominee hopeful Mitt Romney and the recent criticism involving Romney's role at investment management company Bain Capital. Well, Bain Capital really, I mean, they've done an awfully good job. The government hires them all the time to advise them. Trump, like Governor Scott says, as the Florida primary inches closer, will have a better understanding of who he'd like to see in the White House. Now, the bridge is expected to stay lit in pink for the next two weeks leading up to the race for the cure, which is on January 28th. As for that breast cancer awareness event that was held tonight here in Palm Beach, organizers say last year they raised under a million dollars, but this year they exceeded that, raising more than a million dollars, most of which they say will stay right here in the community. Live in Palm Beach, Jeff Scribeck, WPTV News Channel 5.